guests, faculty members, family and friends, good evening and welcome to Diamond Regional Vocational Technical High School's commencement exercises. Tonight, we celebrate the achievements of the class of 2019. My name is Marcus Benu, the valedictorian of the class of 2019, and it is my honor to be your master of ceremonies. Please stand as we honor America with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I ask that you join me in a moment of silence to honor all those who cannot be here with us tonight. Thank you very much. At this time, I wish to introduce the guests on stage. The Honorable Mayor of Fall River, Mr. Jaziel Correa. The Greater Fall River School Committee members, including Jeffrey Began from Swansea and Father Jay Mello from Fall River. And State Representative Steve Howard. I would also like to introduce the members of the administrative staff at Diamond. The Assistant Principal of Student Affairs, Mr. Andrew Rabello. The Director of Guidance, Mrs. Lois Miller. The Director of Special Education, Mrs. Debbie Pacheco. The Assistant Principal of Technical Affairs, Mrs. Maria Torres. The Coordinator of Cooperative Education, Mr. Kevin Lazaro. The Assistant Principal of Academic Affairs, Dr. Katie Warren. The Supervisor of Building and Grounds, Mr. Glenn Benavides. The District Business Manager, Mrs. Deborah Kenny. The District Data Analyst, Mrs. Tara Mancini. The School Research Officer, Mr. James Riley. Fabulous school security officers, Mrs. Erica Teal and Mrs. Olga Baez. And our principal, Dr. Elvio Ferreira. At this time, I would like to welcome Mayor, Mayor Correa for congratulatory remarks. Thank you. Good afternoon, good evening to the class of 2019. How we feeling tonight? I don't know, I don't know. I've got a competition going. I go to a lot of graduations, that's why I can't stay this evening. I've got another one. However, i got a competition going of which graduating class this year, amongst all the classes in the region, can scream the loudest. So I'm going to ask again. I'm going to ask again. Here we go. How was the 2019 class feeling? So it's an honor to be here with you all this evening uh, as the mayor of the city of Fall River. Uh, this is just the best vocational school in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and you all know that. I don't have to come here and tell you that. I'm here tonight to say a few words of thanks to three very, very important groups of people. And I'm going to need your help, the audience as well, to help me thank those three groups of people. So the first group, very, very important. You wouldn't be here without them today the people that make it possible, the staff, the teachers, the principal, the entire school committee, every member of the Diamond team that makes this such a wonderful school. Give them a big thanks and a round of applause. The second group of people, I'm going to need your help, 
students' class. So if you could stand, if you're able, for one second, please. All right, we've got everybody standing. And if you could turn around and wave and thank the family and friends that came out tonight. I think we to thanks to them. Don't forget the sides as well. You can say thank you. So, that second group, that second group is such a special group, so important. You have a beautiful day like today. They come out here to celebrate your success, your family, your friends, your brothers and sisters, parents, grandparents, mentors. They're here today to celebrate your success, and we really thank each and every one of them for being the foundation of your education each and every day. So thank you to the families and friends that are here. And the final group, the reason we're all here, a very special group of people that are sitting right in front of us that shortly will get their diploma, their ticket to the future, whether it's going into a trade, whether it's going on to college, whether it's going into the military. These are the individuals before us tonight that have made something of themselves, will continue to make something of themselves, whether here in Fall River or beyond. So everybody in this entire arena, in this stadium, please help me in thanking and congratulating the class of 2019 of Diamond. I try and do this each year, and I'll, I'll wrap up with this. I try and do this each year that I, that I attend this graduation. And I've had the honor of being here all three last graduations. They really are special, because the school is very special. So I'm going to ask you to just stand, but not all at once, just uh, in the following order. So those that are going on to a four-year or two-year college, a college career, please stand. that have a job waiting for them after tonight, those who are going into a trade or a field that they may have studied here at Diamond, please stand. And last but most, most certainly not least, especially on a day like today, commemorating D-Day, those that are going to serve our military, those that are going into the military, please stand. Class of 2019, and everyone in this, in this beautiful place this evening, thank you. That was my job tonight, to thank you for being here, for making it, for never giving up, for making something of yourselves, for creating friendships, best friends, uh, and just taking your education to a whole new level. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Have a great time. Enjoy. At this time, I would like to welcome school committee member, Mr. Jeffrey Began, to the lectern. On behalf of the uh, Diamond School Committee, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out on this beautiful Thursday night after we all watched the radar over the last 48 hours, crossing our fingers. Um, graduates, I just want to take a second. I want you to take a step back and remember the day that you decided, I want to go to Diamond. The day you told your parents, I want to go to Diamond. Some of you, it was a very uncomfortable feeling. You had siblings that went through your community high schools. You were leaving friends behind, a circle that you had been with since you were in elementary school. You're coming into this huge environment, shops, who knows where you're going to go. The uncomfortable decisions. Then it was choosing a shop. And then it's getting through that. Now fast forward to today. This is the end of your time here at Diamond. But the beginning of the rest of your lives. You will take chances. You will make decisions that will make you feel uncomfortable. Remember, in the end, don't be afraid to go out on a limb. That's where the fruit is. Enjoy your success. And congratulations.
at this time, please welcome Student Government President Benjamin Ramos to the lectern. First, before I even begin, I would like to thank my great friend Marcus Benoob, the class valedictorian, for lending me these sunglasses. <laughs> um, I forgot to bring glasses on my own. But anyways, good evening. I would like to start out by thanking everyone for being here today. You, teachers, administrators, guidance counselors, friends, and most importantly, family members, are the impetus behind our success. Your teachings, guidance, kindness, and sacrifice have enabled us, Diamond's class of 2019, to excel on the shop floor, in the classroom, and in everyday life. Over the past four years, our class has experienced unprecedented success. We've championed DECA, math competitions, debates, and most notably Skills USA, where we competed in everything from photography to masonry to electronics. As a matter of fact, we were so skilled we received 54 gold and silver awards at the state level skills USA competition. I just want to take a moment. So, I, I was going to say, let's take a moment to let that sink in, but it seems like everybody already did that, so I'll just move on. Um, beyond skills USA, our winning stretches into the classroom, where Diamond's class of 2019 has exceeded many expectations. The class of 2019 was the first class in history to take the AP Chemistry, Statistics, and Literature exams. Our National Honor Society is one of the largest in diamond history, and our advanced placement enrollment is at an all-time record, along with dual enrollment at BCC and UMass Dartmouth. I'm telling you, our, cla our class can't be stopped. Even though we've had immense success in Chapman academics, I'm most proud of the success, the success that our class has had helping those less fortunate than us, in giving back to the community and in standing up for what's right. In January, for example, when hundreds were displaced by the New Year's Day fire at the Four Winds apartment complex, the Diamond community rallied together. Our former, our former superintendent, Mr. Aubin, along with many other... So, Mr. Aubin, along with many other proud Bengals, devoted his Saturday morning back in January to working with the Parent Advisory Council breakfast, which raised funds for the victims of the Four Winds Fire. And while this is just one of thousands of acts of kindness carried out each year by Diamond students, faculty, and stakeholders, it epitomizes what makes Diamond great. Diamond is great because of the little things, things like collecting coats for unfortunate children, like removing hate from the gravestones at the Hebrew Cemetery, like building buddy benches for local middle schools, like participating in the annual Walk for Hunger and Relay for Life, like never allowing bigotry, hate, and intolerance to pervade our school. Like never allowing a less fortunate member of the community to go without. At Diamond, we pride ourselves not only on our academic and vocational achievement, but also on our human achievement. This human achievement brings me to my next point. In our vocational pursuits, we must strive to do our best each day, putting in a 100% effort day in and day out, much like my friend and guidance counselor, Mr. Alba, who always went above and beyond in assuring that his students succeed. In our academic pursuits, we must be certain to learn not only about the field which we are passionate about, but the fields which are changing our world. In this regard, we should strive to be like the wise and noble Dr. S. and Mr. Silva, who can entertain discussions on everything from the causes of the 2008 financial crisis to intermolecular forces to, to uh, the development of spoken language throughout the past millennium. In embracing the future of industry, we must strive to, sit, to emulate Mr. Sweet, my shop teacher, who oversaw the addition of hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of new machinery to the drafting shop. And in treating others with dignity and respect, we must strive to emulate Officer Riley, the steadfast diamond sentinel who so honorably upholds the virtue of service, pride, and commitment. Regardless of whatever you set off to do in the world after Diamond, you can be certain that the life and lessons of one of your Diamond teachers, guidance counselors, or administrators will carry you to success. In preparing for a better future, we must look to our past. We must uphold the values of our parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents by always working hard, doing what's right, and sacrificing for the greater good. As we reflect, we can be certain that Diamond's class of 2019 played an integral role in shaping the future by continuing the duration of work entirely in shop and academics to achieve success. 
We can also be certain that Diamond's class of 2019 dutifully upheld the moral and civic virtues requisite of any great society. Moving forward, we wish Dr. Ferris success in continuing down the path, the path, path blazed by Superintendent Alvin, whose tenure at Diamond afforded thousands of Bengals new opportunities to succeed. We have shown the world what it means to be a Bengal. We've shown the world what it means to, to bleed orange. Go Bengals! Thank you, Benjamin. Good afternoon. Before I begin my speech, I would like to again thank a collection of very special people. The families and friends of those who are graduating, the teachers, board members, and administrators of Diamond who are in attendance, Greater Fall River community members, my family, including my Uncle Robert, who is the reason I thought my first name was literally stupid instead of Marcus for 16 years. <laughs> and those whom we hold dear but could not attend today's ceremony. It is indeed an honor to be here, speaking one last time to the over 300 students graduating from Diamond Regionals Class of 2019. We, we, as students, have often heard that the possibilities for our futures are limitless, and that we can do whatever it is that we set our minds to. You may have heard these same sentiments today, but I believe this to be an incomplete truth, and we can often define ourselves in a more accurate way. What we can and cannot do yet, and what we have sacrificed in order to surpass our limits and achieve our goals. I am not Tom Brady. I cannot throw like Tom Brady, despite looking so similar. It's shocking, I know. But, if I were to give up years and years of my life in training, around two pounds of air pressure in my football, and had a lot of luck, maybe I could throw like Tom Brady. I can tell you right now that I won't. Part of sacrifice means exchanging all of your possibilities for a single reality. All of us were faced with drastic life choices before we graduate. Should I join the workforce right away or continue my education? Should I enlist in the armed forces? What should my major be? What do I want to do? Why won't people stop asking me where I'm going to college? I cannot tell you if you made the right decision. Most of you will one day switch your plans and be better and happier for it. Changing your choices later on is not a bad thing to do. But I can tell you that if you are walking across this stage today, you have avoided the choice of an action. All of you have made proactive decisions in order to better your own lives. You have made positive sacrifices in order to further or continue your education. You stayed up late on shop time Sunday, sometimes in the Monday morning. You turned in that essay for history class that was a month late, but hey, better late than never, Mr. Mahoney. <laughs> you dragged yourself out of bed hundreds, maybe thousands of times in order to go to school and work. You could have said no every time. It is easy and tempting to give up your responsibilities to become sedentary and simply exist with the charity and work of all others. That temptation will never fade until the day in which we are buried into the ground. However, from an action comes a life of, life of dissatisfaction. Too often, you will hear the regrets of the chances not taken. So I ask you all to reject that bleak and unhappy future, and I challenge myself to do the same. Sacrifice that life of ease and comfort in exchange for what you believe in. Sacrifice it for your family, for your friends, for your career, for your happiness, for yourself. Wear your sacrifices like badges of honor in your heart. We have all sacrificed things to be here today. At this time, I would like to recognize the sacrifices of these incredible students standing here before me. If you are a student, I would like to do the same routine as Haziel Correa, but I wrote it before him. I would ask you to stand if you are called as part of one of these groups. For those of you who would continue your education and dedicate your curious minds, please stand and be recognized with a round of applause. Thank you. You may be seated. For those of you that would dedicate your skilled hands in order to build and maintain the society that we live in, 
and will directly enter the workforce in your trade or otherwise and work honestly your lives. Please stand and be recognized. And last, but most certainly not least, for those brave few of you who would dedicate your valiant hearts to your countrymen and mankind, serving as police officers, firefighters, related occupations, or will enlist in the armed forces and sacrifice your lives for all of us, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Now I'm going to ask you all to stand up one more time, every single one of you, and turn around. Look at the bleachers. Find your family if you can. Those are the people that sacrificed it all for you. They have put in the hours to feed you, teach you right from wrong, send you to school, and raise you. They have sacrificed their time to be here today. They have sacrificed everything for you. Please recognize them as they have recognized you. Thank you. You may all be seated. Students, please thank those in your lives for all that they have done for you. I would like to thank you all for your time, and congratulations, Diamond Regionals, Class of 2019! Please welcome Dr. Ferrer to the lecture. Thank you, Marcus. Before we get to the diplomas, I would like to recognize the many members of the Diamond faculty and staff who are here tonight. Their presence speaks to the dedication and the commitment that they have to the students of Diamond Regional. I thank them all for their tireless effort to support the students of our great institution and for all their help with the preparation for this evening's activities. Members of the Greater Fall River School Committee, it is my privilege to declare that the students of the class of 2019 have met all the requirements for a Diamond Regional Vocational Technical High School Diploma as prescribed by the Greater Fall River Vocational School District. I now present them to you for graduation. By the powers vested in me by general laws of Massachusetts, I accept this class and authorize you to proceed with conferring the diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I call to the stage the graduating class of 2019. Number one in the class of 2019. Richard Souza. Jacob Pimento. Electronic Shop, Luis Fernando Ferreira. Benjamin Ramos. From the Electricity Shop, Renee Lee Raposo. Also graduating with a Bristol Community College Certificate in Office Skills Training, Erica Meredith Cook. From Dental Assisting, Jesenia Lynn De Rosario. From our drafting shop, graduating the Bristol Community College Certificate in Drafting Skills Training, Abraham Moss. I'd like to congratulate.
congratulate the class of 2019 Auto Collision, Carlos Steven Alonso. Amanda Nicole Bassett. Sebastian James Batella. Haley Rose Bouchard. Rayleigh Barbara Cephas. Noah Thompson to forge. Darren Jeffrey Furtado. Matthew Mark Leduc. Ethan Alejandro Mello. Bryce Kevin Nichols. Shakina Potts. Aaron Michael St. Pierre. Presenting the classroom auto technology, Luke Sebastian Bagden. Cameron Joseph Butterfield. Mason Thomas Cipriano. Corey Jace Cadero. Noah Richard Correa. Jonathan William Costa. Ethan Patrick Cousineau. McAllen David Diamita. Nathan Tyler Damaris. Al Logan Fitzgerald. Kyle Jacob Kentellis. John Claude Joseph King. David Lopez Baird. <laughs> Kaylee Mena. <laughs> Quinn Edward Menezes. <laughs> Abner McHale. Anthony Tyler Thomas Norris. Kobe Ray Oliveira. Scotty Pimento. Robert Michael Rivera. John Tacavelli. 
and now they're building in Poverty Shop. Alexander Aponte. Matthew Robert Campbell. Mitchell Ferreira. Jacob Tanner Fonts. Brian Louise Waman Chimborazo. Jaden Thomas Macedo Kulak. Austin James Dandanka. Yanelise Navarro Nieves. Joel Philip Patoda. Noah Pereira. Dylan Edson Gonzalez Pereira. Demetrius Ali Peterson. Shaylee Marie Pimenta. Emily Lynn Platt. Jason Christopher Rajani. Bianca Jacqueline Rodriguez. Marlene Maria Vasconcelos. And now the business technology graduates. Sarah Mary Austin. Cara Nicole Berabe. Also graduating with a Bristol Community College Certificate in Office Skills Training, Alexandria Irene Betancourt. Graduating with a Bristol Community College Certificate in Office Skills Training, Lexi Bolarino. <laughs> Hannah Paulette Cadero. <laughs> Sabrina Rose Duart. <laughs> Kayla Ferreira. <laughs> Kaylee Mary Kochanek. Also graduating with a Bristol Community College Certificate in Office Skills Training, Amber Lynn LeCoyer. <laughs> Hayden Manuel Leet. Also graduating with a Bristol Community College Certificate in Office Skills Training, Taylor Kate Marchand. <laughs> Anna Martin. Sanji Mary Melendez. Sadia Mello. Audrey Lucia Moniz. Haley Isabel Reese. Graduating with a Bristol Community College Certificate in Office Skills Training, Monique Elizabeth Santos. <laughs> Presley Marie Silva. with a Bristol Community College Certificate in Office Skills Training, Sophia Maria Tebbs. 
And now with this year's Carpentry graduates. Lucas Almentano. Mackenzie Lynn Blanchett. Ethan Manuel Brown. Colin Michael Davis. Devin Luke Dessa. Taya Marie Deshane. Dylan Anthony Estrella. Ethan Manuel Guido. Mason Jesse Jones. Angelis Sayid Gonzalez Rolon. Nathan Brian Goodwin. Alexis Bell Hoffman. Mitchell Robert Jean Melanson. Stone Ashton Cable. Ian Pavo. Samantha Phillips. Jasmine Lynn Robello. Darian Anthony Rogers. Brandon Joseph Texera. Nineteen culinary arts graduates. Amber Marie Almeida. <laughs> Preston Manuel Arujo. <laughs> Kayla Ruth Patello. Kaylee May Brito. Ryan Alexander Cascioni. Samantha Campos. Jamie Lynn Isabel Choquette. Mackenzie Marie Desa. Brianna May Ferreira. Alyssa Odette Franco. Michaela Freitas. Matthew Lee Garcia. Morgan Lily Bupachi. Haley Lynn. Shaylin McKenna Genera. Ian Tyler King. Bonnie Chase Mopaga.
award-winning playwright, Andrew Martin Ledger. Jonathan David Martins. Selena Marie Madeiras. Rihanna Me Marie Mello. Trevor Anthony Mayoza. Anastasia Monti. Nicholas Gold Mana. Keith Benjamin Valvina. Adriana Marie Resendiz. Destiny Rose Rivera. Lindsay Sorella. Now our 2019 dental assistant graduates. <laughs> Selena Grace Andreoli. Alexis Arruda. Trinity Lynn Baker. Gabrielle Elise Camara. Savannah Marie Carvalho. <laughs> Ashley Jocelyn Chicas. <laughs> Courtney Marie Churchill. <laughs> Brittany Marie DeCosta. Sydney Jean Davis. Kendra Nicole Gonzalez. Ashley Renee Cardell. Alyssa Lee Molesky. Tiana Grizel Medina. <laughs> Hannah Marie Mora. <laughs> Alexia Skyler Paiva. <laughs> Alexia Marie Raposo. drafting graduates. Amber Marie Andre, also receiving a certificate from BCC in Computer Aided Drafting and Design. Aiden Armentano. Zachary Edward Cordaire. Valeria Cruz. Ryan Edward Fiedler.
Unique Renee Horsley. Matthew John Knight. Talisha Pabon Matos. Robert Antonio Hayes. Also receiving a certificate from BCC in Computer Aided Drafting and Design. Eric Joseph Haskell. Mark Paul Owen Phillips. Angel Miguel Rivera. Jennifer Marlene Grace Saulnier, also receiving a certificate from BCC in Computer Aided Drafting and Design. Here we have the 2019 Electricity graduates. Haley J. Sharon. J.C. Robert Correa. Jonathan Tyler Crowley. Store Princess Kiana Dillon. Hope Elizabeth Durow. Christian Edgar Gonzalez Frank. Christian has enlisted in the Marines. Brianne Tatum Hubner. Daniel Paul Latour. Daniel has also enlisted in the Marines. Cheyenne Jade Loreo. Dap Nguyen. Raymond Page. <laughs> Daniel James Perron Jr. <laughs> Maddie Lacey Rivera. Clayton James Sylvia Neil Diego Souza Jasmine Melissa Swenson in the Air Force, Cesar Armando Vargas Jr. Now we have this year's electronics graduates. Connor James Odette. Alex Michael Barry. Storm Evelyn Bastille. Brian Borges has listed in the Marines. Brian Borges. Evan Douglas Bouchard. Zachary Armando Cabral. Jason Pedro Cox. Christopher DeMora. Drew Richard Gilmet. Jordan Matthew Hubert. Christopher
Christopher David Jeffries. Charles Robert Marshall. Nelson William Matthews. Enlisted in the Army, Evan Anthony Parasol. Maya Elizabeth Parker. Evan William Smith. Enlisted in the Army, Jaden Andrew Michael Ventura. This year's Graphic Communications graduate, Stephen Isaiah Arthur Almeida. Sarah Nicole Almeida. Also enlisting in the United States Air Force, Cameron Jameson Patello. Kayla Carrero Cabral. Maria Erica Alcantara Canessa. Samantha Paige Carrero. Dana Rayer Valeriano David. Emily Ryan DeMello. Taylor Mackenzie Dutra. Brianna Lynn Ferreira. Caden Chase Marks. Amber Nicole Medeiros. Waleshka Jadif Melendez Hernandez. Ashley Nicole Miranda. Gabriella Eva Noversa. Chico. Carmen Annabelle Pichazaka. Kylie Ranker. Carlise Rivera Cruz. Robin Nicole Simmons. Tavares. Hope Irene Tavares de Almeida. Now we have this year's Health Assistant graduates. Ariana Berryman. Elise Marie Cabral. Kyle Francis Caccioni. <laughs> Veronica Lynn Conception. <laughs> Kylie Nicole Cadero. <laughs> Rihanna Marie Cadero. <laughs> Jocelyn Elise. Shantiana Correa Dias. Caitlin Renee Duby. Serena Elizabeth Estevez. Bianca Harrop. Candice Danielle Hoyt. Alexi Marie Geronimo. Caitlin Ann Laverdeer. Serena Victoria Matos. Ashley Zorn.
Tamoria Medeiros. Brianna Mello. Haley Elizabeth Olson. Emma Rose Plant. Caitlin Elizabeth Raposo. Naya Mackenzie Rodericks. Abigail Simbro. Beatrice Medeiros de Souza. Jade Renee Souza. Rachel Elizabeth Talbot. Kaylee Elizabeth Tal a trip. Now we have this year's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning graduates. Scott Edward Barabee Jr. <laughs> Caleb Lavette Bonanca. Matthew Joseph Botello. <laughs> Thomas Bree. Jared John Casper. Nicholas Scott Fino. Jaden Joseph Hankins. Matthew John Martins. Michael John Perry. Brandon Joseph Raposo. Noelia Rivera Bonilla. Nathan Michael Tabikas. Sean Vieira. We have 2019 Machine Tool Technology graduates. Nicholas Kenneth Abrantes. Haley Patricia Barbosa. John Christopher Baton. Lyndon Perry Carrera. Lyndon is enlisting in the United States Army. Lyndon Jacob Carvalho. Dylan. Dylan Jacob Carvalho. Aiden Joseph Delorius. Lucas Susan. Asia Lynn Fernandez. Kevin Philip Ferrer. Jacob Nathaniel Gouveia. Zachary Michael Griffin. Ian Patrick Lattenville. Charles Austin Landers. Kayla Allison Lima. India Anne Marie McKinney. Gage William Minor. Adam Paul Noisen. Nathan Nowaki. Reagan Pirate. Thomas.
Emma Victoria Slater. Jared Andrew Staten. Jaden Jeremy Walsh. Now we have this year's 2019 Metal Fabrication and Joining Technologies graduates. Michael Joseph Bennett. Lillian Louise Braga. Christopher George Shavs. Samuel Raymond Cody. Antonio Jose Fluffy De Castro. Gage Robert Dugan. Christian Raymond Heaney. Ryan Miles Linares. Kyle has enlisted in the United States Marines. Eric Souza. Devin Manuel Souza. And now we have this year's plumbing graduates. Evan Messiah Saluda. Dylan Michael Arsenal. Austin David Desai. Noah David Gerard. Tyron Jose Gonzalez. Christopher Edward Gonzalez Frank. Enlisted in the Marines. Tristan William Morrow. Jordan Anthony Mills. Avante Randy Pereira. Zachary Ryan Poitras. Nicholas Stephen Reese. Richard Rodriguez. Justin Richard Stanteski. Cameron James Steva. And your last graduate of the 2019 class, Tamron Lee Williams. opportunity to move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying you are indeed now graduates of Diamond Regional Vocational Technical High School. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time I'm going to ask that you please remove the tassel from your cap as we prepare for our traditional Toss of the caps. 
On my count, please. On three. Ready? One, two, three. for attending this evening. Congratulations one last time. Have a great night. Be safe as you exit the campus.